Welcome back. It's time for another Intrigue Journal. And can I say, you already got us in the Halloween spirit. Look yeah, at you. Yeah, you like, you look hey, fabulous. What can I say? You like the outfits? You I love, love them. them. You know what we call this? What? A day at the office. Oh, isn't that the truth? Because we dress like this year-round, guys. <laughs> I know. But it's great. <laughs> it's so good to see you in costume. Yes, well, thank you. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, this is a good time of year to do it, right? Yeah. Definitely. Yes. And so this is not uncommon for us to look like this on a Saturday night doing our regular show, mm -hmm. right? But October is our is our crazy month and we have so much going on we're doing our big shows the, this saturday and next saturday but then on halloween night we go to the oh. crystal ballroom of the crescent hotel and they just got written up in national news again as the the uh, most haunted hotel in america and it's really given what we do it's really a kind of a privilege and a thrill and we've been doing this since 2012 we, we have a seance in the ballroom of the the hotel and it's super exciting now the 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 storyline with the hotel has a lot of a lot of characters that they say are still walking the halls today right and then the most notorious one is Dr. Baker, right? Do you right. remember we talked about the little bottles yes, and everything yes, he made it into yes, a cancer yes. hospital? Mm -hmm. Let me just blast through this really quick. He was a very flamboyant and gregarious and uh, entertaining guy, and it's probably why he got away with so much. Mm -hmm. Can you relate to that, Jeremy? A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. A <laughs> little bit. Not gonna lie. <laughs> so, speaking of spirits, right, Jeremy? Yeah. I You've had already indulged. Had some, yeah. Had three. Yes. Had some. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, he, as an entertainer, was inspired by the highest grossing performer in the vaudeville circuit back in the day. And any idea who that was? Can I guess? Sure, go ahead. I didn't read the prompter. Is it Houdini? No, oh. it isn't. Actually, this is somebody who oh, Houdini wrong. learned a lot from. Oh. oh. She was described, she was the indescribable phenomenon oh. and she went by Anna Eva Faye. Anna Eva And Faye. there she is. She was amazing, highest grossing performer in vaudeville. Re a female yes. of yes. that time? Yes. That's wow. amazing. Yeah. Yes, and I gotta wow. tell you that the performance that Juliana Fay does is a tribute to her, but when she first started doing it, she didn't even realize the similarities between what she does and, and then the estate of Anna Eva Fay reached out to us and they said, we see what you guys are doing, oh. we think it's amazing. Do you have anything you wanna say? Well, just that she was had been tested many times and fooled many scientists. She was fooling scientists wow. with her mind reading oh or, or whatever. And we think that the reason that we got the, the attention of the estate was because she's using her real name, Juliana Faye. And her name was Anna Eva Faye. Oh, amazing. wow. And there was a gnat, so yeah. you never know. This could actually be her. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> could be. Part could be. two. Could be. All right. So anyway, he, uh, Norman Baker became inspired by her. He wanted to go into vaudeville, and he did hypnosis. Oh. All right. So, and uh, this is him in, very early in his career, and this is called a body catalepsy, where they'll make you stiff as a board, lay you across two chairs, and then put a big block on you and wow. bang it, all under hypnosis. And hypnot hypnotists actually still do this today. Wow. Really? That's if they amazing. have the right insurance. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of the game we used to play, light as a feather, stiff as a board. Exactly, but this Can is I a little more. Yes. yes. Oh, I never played that. <laughs> I was scared. Did it work? I think so. I, I'm trying to remember. Oh, we're also scared. I think we gave up. I thought up. you stayed away from all that <laughs> stuff. I do, but you're Okay, hey, you know party, what? So. She's <laughs> actually going to do a version of Anna Eva Faye's okay. act in a second. Okay, so good. Yeah, yeah. Stay okay. tuned. But I just want to say that if you come to the Crescent Hotel on Halloween night, mm -hmm. we're not just doing a seance. That's actually in the second half. I do a, a hypnosis performance as a tribute to uh, Norman Baker, and I get people out of the audience, and you know, I'll get you to forget your name, and I'll get you to forget the number seven or six, okay. and you'll just go one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven. How many fingers do you have? And it's, it's really funny. Wow. And it's amazing. So um, yes, can we run the video of me doing the the, uh, oh, the hypnosis? Okay. Uh, I do a past life regression routine in the ballroom there, and uh, this is what it looks like. It's a spooky uh, evening. And uh, but anyway, w why is it uh, appropriate for us to be doing this? Is because. He, he was fraudulent. He created this cancer hospital. People right. came wanting to get treatment. 300 people died in right. that building within mm -hmm. like three or four years. So it's ground zero for being America's most haunted hotel. Mm -hmm. And um, so with that, let's see Julie's performance. Just yeah, really quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so want to give you a, a preview of what you might see um, in our performance any Saturday night, but it's especially cool. On, hey, uh, what do you want us to do? All right. Well, first of all, this is a blindfold. Just go ahead and look it over. Okay. Verify there's no bits of gadgetry or technologies. No. 
pretty basic, all right? Yeah. And then I'm going to have uh, Jeremy put that, come on over here and put this on Juliana. Oh, okay. All right? This, I'd like you to go grab right? your purse. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, either all right? Way. Okay. Go either way. Either okay, way. Okay, so okay. then she gets blindfolded, then we ask people to take personal effects time? that no, they have good. with them out of their pockets, their purses, and their wallets. And then maybe present it to the energy in the room. And the spirits will descend upon the people, look at the items they have, rush to Juliana Faye's side, whisper into her ears what it is, maybe describe it in detail. It's heavy, isn't it? It sure <laughs> is. All right, and what is this? Are you looking at Kelly's keys? Oh, <gasps> it's a small key on your purse, right? It sure is. Yeah. Yes. She's try blindfolded. To, try I to tell you. me what this is. Now I'm getting the sense of uh, something for your hair. I think it's a comb. Yes, right. <laughs> oh, wow. I love you. Yes. Oh, that's crazy. Please, now this, what is this? Now this has, I'm, I'm sensing a smell. Is it some type of perfume? <gasps> oh, what? my God. Go on, what's this? And you have her wallet. Yes. Hold oh, on to that. Oh, I want her wallet. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Let's see, please, what's this? Do you have some kind of pills in there? Sure is. Let's well, you read know like that. <laughs> that's, okay. that's Kelly. Yeah. Yeah, knows me so so well. you know, he's doing the liquor, she's doing the pills. <laughs> Just a day at the office, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. We have two minutes left, so we're gonna... All right, please, what's this? Now, she has a lot of things in there, but she has things for her nails in there. I think it's a file. Let's see, is that correct? Oh my God, oh my she God. does this every day. <laughs> You file every day. Is, is, it, uh, is it blue? I'm getting the color. What is that? The file. Oh, the file is blue. Oh and this, goodness. what is this? Now you have uh, something. Is it? Are there earbuds or That's something? That's exactly <laughs> right. That's exactly I right. I can tell you. Jeremy, what do you got in your pocket? I'm not telling you. No, take take something out here. You want me to take something out? Yes. Wait a minute. You have my wallet. Go on. Can you tell me what this is? You have a card. Can you tell her? Is that correct? Yes. Don't show us the camera. Is it a, is it a credit card? Go on, tell her that as well. Yes, it's a credit card. Kelly, is this a visa? Yeah! Yes, yes. Watch, it gets better. Now, what I'd like you to do on TV is read off her account number with expiration date and security code. And the code. number on the back, okay? I don't think it's a good idea. Uh, Thank you. Thank and, you. all right, can you try to hold on to that? Yeah. Look at the last four digits. The last four, is that okay? Last four. Yeah. Five, one, three, Eight? Whoa! Oh my gosh! Wh what are you There's doing right now? Here, here, Crazy. take out. Let me see. What do you got on you? What, what, what which take, would you prefer? Take something out. Let's see. What's this? You have her phone. Well, it's Jeremy's. Okay. Uh, now, nah, go on, please. Tell me what's on the, the cover of his phone. Is there a flower? What? All right, is that correct? <laughs> Is it red? It is. Look at it. <laughs> Wait, show the camera. Amazing. This is my cover screen. That's from the flowers oh of my garden. Oh my word. Let's see your phone. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, it's, it's over there. Can do, do okay. we have time or we're done? Oh, we, oh, we, we need to wrap. Oh, oh all right. that's so in Julia, how are you doing this? <laughs> They're telling me. Yes. I can tell you, we did not discuss any of this. Oh, we prior. came in here completely cold. Absolutely. Yeah, they had absolutely no idea. That is, Jeremy's totally freaked out, and so am I. This <laughs> is what we'll, they'll see if they come Halloween yeah. nights. Uh, How? I don't understand you guys. You have I, to tell. Are we still doing the act? Am I still? <laughs> no, 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 no. no. I just, Welcome back. Got her up. All right. <laughs> Coming Julia up is Dollar Nair. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back. That. That's crazy. I don't know if I can be friends with her anymore. Hey, hey Julie, can we go 